Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new Deadman Mode video. And in this video, our goal is simple, get as many points as possible to secure our slot as the top 25 player in Deadman Mode. If you guys do not know, the way you win this Deadman Mode is by being in the top 25 and by doing the best that you can in the last event, which will take place on 16th of September. I do read your guys' comments and I see a lot of you guys want to see me PK, but unfortunately you get no points for PKing, therefore you get no possibility of a reward if you PK on deadman mode, which is kind of counterintuitive. But anyways, the goal is there. We're going for points. We're going for top ranks. Let's jump right into it. I've been absolutely liquidating my entire bank and here it is. Also bought an arcane prayer scroll for 41.5 million and that is a huge upgrade for the account because with this we now have basically all the prayers unlocked so that is huge and the breach is in three minutes so it's also gonna help there and this right here is us unlocking arcane prayer scroll i mean augury so there we go this is gonna be a little bit helpful when we do the breaches since we're doing them in mage right now and it's also gonna help for tanking those PKers, you know. Be able to have an extra magic defense is just uh, pretty helpful, let's put it that way. So excited for the breach in one minute, let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, the starting points, 102.2. Let's see if we can get a lot of points today. First emblem, second emblem. I need to be careful if I even want to risk food for those. I mean, I do, but like, I don't, you know what I mean? Another emblem. Another emblem. Okay. And another one. Another emblem. I'm gonna do a strategic decision here. And bank. Another emblem. Oh my goodness. So much loot, two emblems, trinket. At this point, I'm just uh, <laughs> leaving them on the floor until I, until like the last moment, basically. Ah, I got double club. And I got a tab out before he even got a barrage through. Okay, one more bank. It's one minute left though, so it's gonna be hard to get anything else. But that's why I always have combo food, always be ready and then spam click. Because, I mean, he went for a double claw and then I got a TP off before he even switched to mage. And got one more hit off, so that was pretty nice TP. And the claw was nicely eaten as well, so not bad. Let's take a look at the points. 104,800 is uh, where we're leaving off, which I think is maybe around 3000 points. That's not the best, not the worst, I'd say. But uh, yeah, pretty solid. Lots of money made again. Not bad. I'm just gonna go back to sleep here and I'll be back in a bit. Oh my God, I've been recording the wrong fucking screen this whole time. I was uh, recording the wrong scene on OBS for a very long time. So let me sum it up what I've been up to. I've been killing Verion, killed 20 Verion. Then we went to Venenares, killed 20 Venenares. I also ended up killing Nightmare. And safe to say, I'm absolutely tilted out of my mind right now because I've just been recording my woodcutting account and this is just so depressing. Whatever, we're doing Venenares, we're farming points. This is the last kill and then we go bear. I think so, yeah. We are now killing Venenaris and we're just looking for combat achievements on all the wildy bosses. We've already completed Vedion, but now the plan is to finish Venenaris. Nice 20 kill count. Okay, well, I really need to stop accidentally recording the wrong scene on OBS, but let me sum it up very quickly as to what just happened. We went and we killed Verion, and we got just nice 20 kill count to complete both of the tasks. No good drops whatsoever, very simple boss, pray melee, hit boss, kill boss. Then we went to Venenaris and we just killed it 20 times as well. Once again, extra points. And we ended up pulling a Trisionous Ring, which is not worth very much. And now we're gonna go kill the bear and hopefully get some good drops there. Once again, we're gonna probably just kill 20 for combat achievements and then move on to another boss. Is he back? Oh. You just gotta barrage him and play rage, I think. I forgot I have Rigor now. Oh, same. I was using Eagle Eye. What the <laughs> fuck? One. Got slammed by a 50. And dodged the trap. What the hell? I can't even do the under? Nah, bro. Yeah, but he's focusing me, that's why. Nah, he's AoE. He's Look. hitting it. Oh. This is probably a magic hit, See? right? Can't do shit. 
Try sure, playing. Dot five. Try playing mage, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think you play mage on that one. Sure. Okay, first KC, huge. Bro, <laughs> eat my boy. <laughs> you know me. No, you're getting fucked this hard. <laughs> he only uses a special on me. There is like, no way, He's not gonna focus me. He's gonna look at me and just throw the special. I actually don't believe it. Like, how are you alive right now? Wait, did he plank? Yeah, yeah he gave me 53. <laughs> I didn't even see. <laughs> Wait, I'll bury your bones, bro. I got you. <laughs> yeah, I needed food anyway. I, I was almost out. <laughs> there is no fucking way. I received the job still. Yeah, you got the KT, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a quick reminder to let you know that you should probably subscribe. Limpur root, crazy. That's an eight. I don't know how the fuck this works. I'll be honest. Yeah, I should probably have like five tiles away from the walls marked, so you never step behind them. Okay, don't step under. <laughs> He hits you like twice. And I still have so many supplies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like three tiles it bumps you back. So you just can't get hit into a wall. Dude, if you step into the trap, it's a, it does the barrage sound effect. Do we, st do we stay one no, 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 we send... Oh, yeah, I'm completely out. I need to get a evil. Yeah, the breaches are what's keeping it going, to be honest. Yeah, but are they just gonna do breaches next time? Like, well, it's actually change? breaches and points that is keeping it going. Exactly. It's the points, I think. Yeah, Plus, I think it, it's it, points, it, yeah. like the PVM and skilling. Every, every, they, normally, it's just PKing the entire and now they made skilling PVM and everything. Yeah, and that's why it's alive because you need, you can't have DMM with only PVPers. It won't work. You need to have PV, healthy PV as well, I think. Yeah. Uh, the nice. game is the fuck to me. We got 10 kills, 10 more, and we're out. Wait, did I just die now? No, oh didn't. my, that was close. Like I was camping low. Hey, trade me quick, trade me quick. I gave you all my food. If you want, you can share with them. Okay, thank you. This guy just brought us by. <laughs> so many oh, sharks, dude. What is going on? Ah, oh, shit. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, thanks for the sharks, bro. Why they follow me? I just got here, man. <laughs> I just see you running. Take a 50. Take a 40. <laughs> oh man. Now we're nasty for not freezing when it went for him. Like. If he's not going for me, I'm not <laughs> Yeah, crazy. I noticed that, man. <laughs> so I'm like brewing, restoring, trying to freeze, brewing, restoring, trying to freeze. And you're like, hmm, where's your food, bro? <laughs> there is no way. This is it. This is the drop. Yeah, snap I, I was kidding. I just died outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to poison. Dude, I, I don't believe you, like... <laughs> I did. I actually did. This guy is a comedian, man. There it is. We're done. Alright, and that is the last boss we had to do in the wilderness. 20 kill count, got all the diaries. So we've killed all the three bosses. The rest is just singles, really. Uh, I'll figure out, I think the breach is in 15 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we will, I guess, see what we do next. There we go. Nice, thank you. Mahogany logs, and we get hot on your feet because of the task as well, and a bunch of points, right? Nice, that's huge. Thank you. Do you wanna do another? Yeah, we can. Onyx bolts, nice. It's good loot. All right, bridge is starting in one minute. Start of the points, 107,000. Let's see where we get to. Yeah, this is gonna be sketchy, let me tell you. There is way too many people killing these mobs. So good thing we're not doing melee anymore because we would get absolutely zero kills. Oh, I got one emblem, let's go. Trinket. Someone yoinked it. Hey, another emblem, finally. Okay, quick bank, get a few more restores out, and we go again. Dude, it's a complete mess out here. Oppa, little Zuriel staff situation we just got. Nice, let's go. Hmm, we have PK on us. Now we're gonna need to try and escape here. 
It's a problem when you can't tell who's hitting you. Okay. Okay, we lose a little bit of time, but we escape, we go right back. Hoppa. Okay, yeah, it's hard, there's a lot of people, so I think we only got a 1500 points maybe. Uh, so not the best, not the worst, we'll deal with it. Did end up getting a Zuriel though, which is pretty decent. Are we gonna do max points or we just wanna... One is for uh, 3000 points. I think we, we do that one last. Pay. That one last. Yeah, we do everything TK else one. first and then the last one we do that. The Wait, what? Coconut oil? Yeah, it's at the entrance. You see those boxes? You gotta pick it up. You sure it's coconut oil? Bro, how it's are right we there, so fucking shit at this, this right game, here, by the way? But yeah, this is good fletching XP as well. Good fletching, yeah. That's... This is this is really good XP for and everything. probably... I don't know about good con, but yeah. Fire making. Like, it's really good XP. There you go. I got the... Oh, I got like two achievements for that. From 50% we all do the same. There we uh... go. I'm banking. Then I'm gonna pull crazy beast of the first three. I already know. So we're doing some winter Todd with the boys right now, trying to get as many combat achievements as possible. Uh, we already got a bunch from just killing it the first time. And we can get some crates for usage. Oh my god, that's so good by the way. These are 150k right now. <gasps> Dude, that's a million. And some burnt pages as well. That is really good. We're gonna probably utilize this for our farming training and I have too much stuff in my bank. We should get the achievement now. Yeah, yeah we yeah, got it. And we got, nice. we got cozy as well. Yeah, wait, cozy and leaving no one behind, right? Nice. Yeah. Okay. There we go, okay. wife ledge, nice. Okay, we ended up getting a couple of crates and right as we left, people came in so it's no longer safe, so to say. Uh, so I'm happy to have it done. Uh, obviously, we need more kill count, which is just 5 and 10. But we got one with a lot of points. So one of these crates will be good reward. So let's take a look. Bunch of pages, which is solid. Watermelon seeds, not the greatest. Yeah, I'm gonna need like bank space for these because these were done with a lot of rewards. Brumatorch, that's the first unique. Not really very good. This one was bad. This one was not the best, and this one was not the best. Okay, so loot-wise, not ideal, but point-wise, pretty decent. We are now up to almost, yeah, 109k points, basically ranked 70. Everybody likes the one room crafting. I don't like it anymore. So I'm gonna do a little tech right now, because I'm just kind of chilling. It's uh, peak time. We have last recall in our inventory. We just did one quick trip, got to level 7. Uh, but what I'm gonna do right now is... I will simply go Falador Park and wait until my last recall is available, do other type of skilling, then quickly last recall, do full inventory, and then quickly uh, come back. And that's basically how I'm gonna train runecrafting without training runecrafting. Maybe I will die because I'm bringing no food when I will do this, but maybe we'll be completely fine. So for example, this is how it's gonna look like. I'm gonna hover if there is no red dots, boom, and out, just like that. And we're now up to 13 and then we do other type of skilling for, I don't know, 3-4 minutes and then we do it all over again. So there's 92 herb. I've just been making all sorts of potions from the herbs I got from the breach. And alongside I was basically runecrafting every time my last recall was available. So we went from 1 to 31 runecrafting. I think 50-ish is my goal for now. I'm still just doing uh, air, but I know it's not the best, but I just have it set up for air. And once again, I just grab it, boom, go here, boom, be ready to TP out if needed, boom, and then boom. That's how we do it, uh, but I'm gonna probably change locations soon. I'm currently in a skilling mood, so I equipped Enhanced Harvest, Remote Storage, and Infernal Smith, and I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of Iron Rocks until I get both Mining and Smithing level up, and then I'm gonna start multi-skilling it with the room crafting when I feel like it. I'm once again only doing this during the very peak time, because, well, not really much you can do when there's peak airs just about everywhere. There's probably better places out there, but I'm just trying to get 60 so I can get to the Mining Guild. 
Hey, there's level 60 mining and we can now enter the mining guild, which should help. We got from what, 20 something smithing to 45, not even training smithing because sigils are broken. And I'm gonna quickly take a look at the mining guild, see if there's anybody inside. It should be a little easier to do the three iron ore. I will not stay on iron ore too long. It's just temporary thing right now that we're doing. But let's go ahead and take a look. I mean, there's four right here. Can I enter this place? There's a guy there. Can I do a little bit of... Uh... Good. Now it's my spot. <laughs> okay, this is gonna come back to bite me at some point. Uh, but this is my spot now, so that's how it goes. Alright, there it is. Got to 70 mining, 60 smithing. We're gonna call it here, but I really do enjoy the, um, the auto banker with 5 eggs bars. So we ended up actually making a very decent amount of steel bars that are now in our bank. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of Calvarian right now. I really like the multi version of this boss. So I figured maybe I will like the single version of this boss as well. And I need to get one kill anyways, but maybe I'll do it a little bit more. And that's the kill. And I forgot a looting bag. Okay, nice. I'm also gonna quickly leave this. Oh, you actually exited right here. Okay. I will just do it in this inventory and go ahead and kill the easier Venenaris as well. There we go. That's more points. That is Spindle defeated. And that is the little Artio defeated. He's so tiny and cute. Oh my god, I got Tyrannical Ring on the first KC. How much is that? Yeah, it's like cheap, it's like useless. Uh, but we killed all of these and we are now on over 110 points. Okay, we're entering a very sketchy territory here. I have a little bit of anti-PK gear on, but very, very little. But this is the fella we're trying to kill here. Okay, so that's one kill count. Oh, we got a brew and a shark. I do believe I need to kill 10 of this without using a prayer potion. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time, but I can use the altar down here to recharge my prayer. Oh, that's a good drop from this guy. That is a solid, pretty much 500k. I need to kill five more for this task without using a potion. That should do it, I hope. Yeah, there we go. So 10 kills without uh, clicking the prayer potion. Very good. How is there no one in here? Don't think I have the best sigils on, but at least I got one kill. Okay, so this is pretty fast points, but very scary. But I'm gonna change my sigils around a bit. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. We're gonna have to do some finessing here. Why are you here, brother man? <laughs> might have to, might have to book it. This is where I wish I had the PvP set with me. Might have to just fight it out. Oh shit, he has VLS here. Okay bro, chill. Okay, I'm booking it. We are booking it south. Sometimes spamming lol is funny in a situation like this. He caught that very fast.
If I freeze him now. There we go. Okay, uh, I'll be logging in in seven hours. See you later, boys. If he's camping on Australian world. I'd rather fight it out on the... I'll just go back in German and if he's here, well played to him. He's actually still here, that's crazy. I mean, I don't know. What the, I think they they have people camping every world. That's gonna be my guess. I mean... Maybe I gap him. No. Problem? Oh, I have this, okay. I just need to check. Oh, it's a different guy, or? Wait, I have a... Oh no, I have a charged one. So I just need to be smart and I'll be okay. But I'm not being smart right now. If I get to this cave, I'm okay. One, two, three. Edgar. There and there. I got hit by that guy. What a crazy tank, what a crazy escape. In a fucking PvE gear, this shit is a movie, man. But I got out. That is... I should not be alive, let me tell you. Uh, I'm just gonna chill until the breach, which is in one hour. My year, the fact that I made it out, I don't even know, but what am I doing? Okay, after that encounter, we are doing one hour of skilling, and then we're doing the breach. And this time I'm moving over here so I can do cosmic runes. Guys, let me tell you, I sacrificed all my emblems. I have insane money maker right now. Brews are selling for 10k each. I'm not, I'm no mathematician, but I have 144 million points. You know how many brews I can buy with that? I don't know, but I think a lot. So let me go do a bit of selling. All right, it is about time we do one of those. So restoration pool, upgrade, stamina pool. And that would already be enough, but I'm gonna upgrade it all the way. Aside from this, this is useless. Maybe this is kind of useless as well. Rejuvenation. Fancy rejuvenation. This is expensive, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Breach is in 10 minutes, and I bought a bunch of magic saplings for 200k each, so 1 million per three run, but I wanna make sure I get 99 farming because it is a zero time skill. So there is 78 farming. Okay, I have three minutes until the breach, and I think I've planted all my trees. Maybe I get to 80 farming. The goal is 85, but eventually 99 as well. So let's see, maybe this tree is up and it is. There we go. Bang, that's a big 80. And let's get ready for the breach. Points at the start of the breach, 110,000. I'm hoping to go above 113,000. However, since the merge of the worlds, it is so hard to get points. First emblem so much loot up here nobody can pick it up unless you have telegram <laughs> look at this Opa, a little emblem oh Kriara in the hill and another emblem okay pick air on me
Just don't give him a chance. There we go. Always work out your escapes. We still got four minutes left. Oh my god, that was insane loot in the looting bank. Points are up to 112k with three minutes to go. Bro, how sick would breaches be if the mobs, instead of 500 health, had like 5,000 or 50,000 health? Like, I think that would be so sick. So you could like really take a long time killing each mob. Did we reach it? Almost 113k. This one was so many people and uh, it is 4 a.m. So I didn't expect this many people to turn up, but still all right. We're still doing very good on the leaderboards. If I check right now, we are currently at rank 17. 